In this video, we'll be talking about the ATP depletion and its relation with cell injury. It's a high yield topic, so watch this video till the end. So cell injury is due to the stress that a cell suffers due to an external or might be internal environmental changes. So there are many organelles such as mitochondria, endoplasmic reticulum, nucleus and membrane are highly susceptible to this kind of cellular injury. So there are different outcomes of cellular injury. Cell would obviously try to adapt to the stress and overcome it. But in extreme cases, when it is irreversible and irreparable, cell have to die. And there are stresses which lead to cellular adaptation and a different video I have talked about it. And cell injury could be reversible as well. It's not always irreversible, but there are some times injurious, injurious stimulus which are so strong that reverse, reversible injury, reversible uh, process is not possible. In that case, death is inevitable. So necrosis or apoptosis happens. One such stress that cells undergo is basically the ATP depletion. So let's see why ATP depletion is important. But before that, let me tell you, cell can get injury in many ways. There could be physical damage like trauma, radiation, heat that can physically damage the cell. There could be internal damage, for example, hypoxia, which might be a cause, might, might be due to anemia, ischemia, cardiopulmonary failure, or some kind of poisoning. All these things can lead to cellular injury and ATP depletion. And let me tell you how. So ATP depletion is really crucial for cell because ATP is the cellular energy currency. You need to do anything the cell basically needs ATP. Just like you need cash or money every day to kind of like fulfill your needs, your day-to-day -day chores, your food, groceries, everything. Cell and the enzymes inside the cell need ATP for these kind of purposes. Let us try to appreciate that. For example, any cell which is metabolically active had to like, uh, had to depend on several biochemical pathways let's say glycolysis, let's say Krebs cycle, etc, etc. So basically all of that pathways require some amount of ATP. Any anabolic pathway, for example, making new proteins, making new DNA, all these kind of anabolic pathways require ATP. Secondly, any cells which are dividing, for example, stem cells, for example, many other skin cells, all dividing cells require a huge amount of ATP to divide. Processes like DNA replication, which is a prerequisite for division, gene activation, transcription, translation, all these things require ATP in specific steps. Without ATP, any of these central dogma processes cannot happen. Also, the cells need to communicate with each other. The cell need to receive signal from outside. So those cellular signaling also requires ATP in various steps. Many enzymes just to give you an example, kinase enzymes, which are crucial for several biochemical pathway, requires ATP for phosphorylating substrates. That is why ATP is so crucial. But where does cell get ATP from? So one of the major source of ATP is basically glycolysis and the electron transport chain. You remember this bi biochemical 101 series? So basically, under fed condition when glucose is abundant nutrient is abundant cell would try to make atp using glucose but in also in a fasted state cell would break down the existing molecules such as fat to generate atp so basically atp is required whether you are in a fasted state or a fed state so basically how does atp depletion can occur so there could be various reasons like lack of oxygen, lack of nutrients, mitochondrial damage, chemical toxicities like cyanide poisoning. poisoning. So imagine that ETC or electron transport chain. Remember cyanide binds to the A3 portion of the complex 4 and thereby preventing this particular uh, electron transport chain. Also oxygen serves as the final electron acceptor in the electron transport chain to form H2O. So once oxygen is depleted or there is a lack of oxygen, this particular step cannot happen. So entirely this would affect the oxidative phosphorylation process and the result is low ATP. Imagine there is an hypoxia and due to the lack of oxygen, there are problems in the cell. For example, the sodium potassium ion exchange pump, which operates based on ATP hydrolysis, would not work in a proper way. 
And why this is not happening? Because enough ATP is not generated. So ETC is compromised. Also, enzymes like kinase enzymes would not function optimally. Now, many of these kinase enzymes are actually involved in many cell signaling pathways, such as the MAP kinase signaling pathway. It's a kinase cascade. Each time ATP is required, and ATP has to be hydrolyzed to phosphorylate substrates. So these kind of signaling would be abrogated. Now, MAP kinase signaling and many other signaling which requires phosphorylation are crucial for cellular growth. So if these signaling pathways are abrogated, the physiological consequences is also not good. Also, the low ATP can cause stress like ER stress. It can lead to a dysregulation of the metabolism. Anaerobic glycolysis would be increased enough amount of lactic acid would be produced so the cellular ph would be dropping down which might lead to for which further aggravate the er stress the ribosomes present on the er would detach the protein synthesis would uh, break down or protein protein synthesis would be reduced so there are many many adverse cause of atp depletion any cellular process you might think of would be abrogated when the atp levels are low for example any of these uh, central dogma processes, replication, transcription, translation, it would never happen if there is not enough ATP. Cell wouldn't even think of dividing if there is a low ATP levels. So cells like stem cells, which has to divide all the time in order to produce and regenerate new cells, they would never divide because ATP is low. Cells which are highly metabolically active, like the hepatocytes, they would face a lot of challenges because they have to run a lot of biochemical pathway in normal time to function properly. So their function would be compromised from a cellular, from a molecular and from a physiological level. There would be a huge compromisation of normal function. That is why ATP is so important and ATP depletion is such a detrimental uh, cellular stress. So I hope this video was useful. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. You can say, share our uh, channel link with your friends. You can follow us on social media. See you in the next video. All the links are provided in the description.